We're at Cockle Creek and we are finishing at South Cape Rivulet Camp. Oh, love the smell of salt water. So they used to actually carry coal out of here. Look at that left hander. My name's uh, Vincent Harmon. I'm on the Paranine Port Davy expedition. So, Joe and myself put our hands up to be the group leaders for today. We had to find out how long we were going to be for the walk or how many kilometres it was going to be and if there was going to be any hills and where we were going and um, just lead the group. My group is Saxon Will and I. Um, we're now camped at the South Cape Rivulet campsite and our tents are all set up and about to have dinner. Oh, that is actually quite nice once you get used to it. Oh, now your feet are going to be on sand for the rest of the day. So South Cape Rivula to Granite Beach is 7 to 10 hours of medium hard walking, uh, 9 kilometres. Uh, well my name's Jack and I chose the first term Port Davy for Power of Nine. It's one of the more challenging ones and I wanted to challenge myself like and just get out of my comfort zone a bit more and just yeah do something that I know is going to challenge me. So guys, just gather around in the middle there. We'll have a quick chat in a circle. Yeah, well done. So done really well. Time-wise, it's great. So guys, there's a reason the um, South Coast track is a big achievement, and that's because it is challenging. It is hard, and it's generally the weather that makes it so. So your attitude is going to be one thing that dictates how challenging it is and how, how open you are to accepting the weather and the conditions. If you're cold and uncomfortable and hungry now, it's a temporary thing. You just need to make an effort to look after yourselves. And and particularly to look after each other. Well done. How do I think I might change? I'll probably change towards thinking more what I do when I do things. Not actually just doing it straight away without thinking and then like later on it not being a good idea or something, just thinking about it more. It was ch challenging today with the, with the rain and the mud. You guys actually came through really really well. It took us a bit less than seven hours to do that. And it said on the on the map seven to ten hours so it was pretty good going. My name is Harry and I am a student at Hutchins and people have said that Port Davy was the more challenging challenge and I guess the fact of being away doing bushwalking and coming back on a boat was a pretty good sounding thing for me I guess. I heard about it in probably grade 6 and since then I've wanted to do Port Davy. I think that I'll definitely grow up in a lot of perspectives. I think that I'll be more respective towards people. I'll understand how they are as a person and what they're doing for example. If something's wrong with them and they told me I'd understand them a lot more than I would have before this. Uh, my name's Saxon, uh, grade 9, doing the Port Davy Challenge. I'm not 100% sure on why I picked it, <laughs> but I did pick it. Uh, what I'm going to get out of the challenge? I'm definitely going to stop complaining about having to walk to swimming after school, but um, I feel like I stop just ruling out the possibility of, possibilities of me doing things in my head before I've tried them. Like, I do that a lot, and... After the walk's finished, I reckon I'll be a lot more confident in myself. Be able to say, like, yeah, I've done the walk, I can do this, or I can do that.
Edmonds Bay to New River Lagoon. Three to four hours medium walking, nine k's. Allow an extra hour to make the boat crossing. My name's Joe Clifford and I chose Port Davey because I love being in the outdoors and doing bushwalks and all that sort of stuff. What I'm going to get out of Power of Nine is um, building confidence towards 10 and 12. They're pretty daunting years uh, academically. Figuring out what I want to do and stuff like that. My name's Zach. I, I chose it because I didn't want to choose any of the other ones. <laughs> I think I'll probably appreciate what we have, not, not just like what I have at home, like a warm, a warm house and stuff like that, but like what we have here in Tasmania. It's all this like beautiful lands, stuff that lot, lots of other countries in the world don't actually have a lot of. How you feeling guys? Yeah, all right. Packed up tents early. It's awesome. What's the time now? 6.30 and um, going up behind downs this morning. Looking forward to it? Uh, yeah, I guess. Gonna be hard but enjoyable at the end when we get over. Tired. Tired? Ready to go? No. No, you're all packed though, you're pretty organised. Yeah. Yeah, well done. Looking forward to getting over the mountain? Yeah. Once yeah. it's over I'll be happy. Yeah, yeah. awesome. Uh, hello, my name's Jack Valance. Port Davey was actually my second choice. Uh, the first was <laughs> Ireland. But I'm glad I got Port Davey because it's a good group, small group. Yeah, good lads. Uh, what I think I'll do differently after Power of Nine is I'll probably be less reluctant to try um, new things, especially stuff to do with the sea. Uh, I'm usually not the most confident person in the water. I don't know if I'll change too much. I might change in ways that I don't notice, but... Other people might. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. So going over the iron bounds today, um, pretty enjoyable, um, pretty hard to start off like the first four hours I think it was of climbing up the mountain and then um, getting to see the view that we got to see in the end was um, pretty spectacular really. Was it worth it? Ah uh, yeah, definitely worth it. This is a long difficult <laughs> climb. Tears. Tears. Anger. Swearing. <laughs> <laughs> was it worth it? Uh, yes, definitely. <laughs> It was definitely worth it. The view is... You can't even explain it, to be honest. You could see literally everything, wherever you've been, all the camps and stuff like that. We could yeah, see Bathurst Harbour as well. Mm. So we could see where we're going, just to finish off. It was cool. The thing is that walking the South Coast track won't make you a better man, won't make you a better person, but it can if you use it as a vehicle for change. And that's really something that I want you to think about. And really the only, the only way it will make a difference to you when you get back is if you do think about that and then apply some of the things you've learnt into everyday situations. Yeah, probably. It is actually recording. No, my back's running. Oh. Hi. 
<laughs> Dab. It's been required. six long days since I have last seen civilization. Everybody is fucking. I really miss a toilet that flushes. <laughs> Amazing. Jack. You guys have made it. You tried your best, Mr. <laughs> <laughs> Next time, I'll get there one day. Good on you guys.